Welcome to the Roller Coaster Project. In this block break two, we're going to be anodizing. Here we have the different ingredients that we will be using for anodizing. Rubber gloves are very important as well as eye protection. We won't be using sulfuric acid as is typical with anodizing. We'll actually be using a pH balance. We started off with a six amp battery charger. Here we're putting the part in sodium hydroxide to etch the surface. The key for anodizing is to make sure you have a very clean part and the etch helps us get there. We have the two cathodes in our bucket of acid. The positive lead is attached to the part, the negative lead to the cathodes. To anodize, we will sit in for roughly 60 minutes. However, this first time, it didn't anodize. So we had to change the power supply. We have a variable power supply, and the problem that we keep having is that there's not enough current. So as we increased it more and more, you start to see bubbles coming off of the surface of the cathode plates. So you'll notice the parts have changed a few times. We actually messed up about two or three times. I had many flubs with the anodizing. Um, as you see, some of them, it didn't work, it did. Uh, my current, a lot of times, was way too low after calculating the surface area of the part. But finally, got one successful part. Um, the problem this time, <laughs> I didn't know what colored dye I had. And, well, it successfully anodized, but it was supposed to be a black color. I tried using RIT dye. Uh, for black, I've noticed it hasn't really worked very well. And then I had some Caswell dye, but it was like a light brown is what I found out. So mixing those together, it ended up yielding that, which is not too terrible. Um, but for the future anodizing, um, I'll release another video where it doesn't have me messing up. I'm going to show the full steps in order, but the information in this video, of course, is accurate to how I'm doing it. Um, Hopefully the next videos, I'll have a base plate for my tripod, that way I don't have to hold the camera in my hand, and especially far away. But, we're going to continue with roller coaster manufacturing and designing in the next videos. Um, as always, please subscribe below, like this video, and if you have any questions or any uh, comments on how maybe I could improve my anodizing, um, I'm trying it from a, uh, the observations blog. I'm trying to not use sulfuric acid, but I do have it if I need to. Uh, please leave some comments below, share the video, and as always, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.